everybody. Glad you made it out tonight. It's either really, really hot or you're getting wet. So kind of goes with some other themes for tonight. So all right, thanks for joining us, guys. Uh, if you would, uh, I'd invite you to stand up and sing with us. We're going to sing some songs we sang last time. We're going to sing some new ones. Um, and I think there's there's probably some people on vacation and there's a tornado warning. So um, we'll need lots of help with you guys to sing. Thanks for bringing it.
Yeah. 
had some objects that kind of helped us think about it, that we're over here, and that there's this space that we need to fill to make it to God. And we used the cross across there, and we said, Jesus on that cross is our way to God. Tonight, I want to think about the next part of that is the truth. So Jesus said he's the truth. I've been thinking about that and for tonight and thinking how to, how do we define the truth, right? What exactly does that mean? How do you explain this word to someone? If you think about it, it's pretty simple, but not, right? It's kind of difficult. I was thinking about some games you might have heard of, like truth, truth or dare, truth or lie. Right? So tonight I was thinking that we should ask a couple volunteers to play a little game to start us off, kind of an icebreaker. Who would want to volunteer for our truth or lie game? I'm going to volunteer you. <laughs> How about we have Elizabeth and maybe, say, Troy. <laughs> Come on up here. Volunteers. Okay, volunteers get chocolate. Now she's awesome. Yeah, well this is, I need two, so we got two up here. So that's good. I want you guys to think about three things about yourself that people may not know or whatever, aren't real obvious. That's true, two of them will be truth, and one of them will be something that is not true. So we're gonna see what we can Figure out. We need some need some people to think about truth. What could be the truth and what could be not true? I was thinking also that you know Facebook and places like that always have the truth on there, right? <laughs> the news always tells the truth, right? No, you can't depend on truth a lot of times, right? For others to explain or tell or give you the truth. So tonight, we're going to see if we can figure out how to discern or know someone's telling us the truth. All right, Elizabeth, you have your three ready? All right. You want a microphone just, then? Just say the three things. Yes, say the three things. Okay. Um, I'm an introvert. I've written in a higher balloon. Church pastor, come on up here. You got help? <laughs> I'm out of chocolate bars. He doesn't get a chocolate bar. 
truth that he who he is and we believe in him he lights the path shows us the way so that we can live our lives being transformed or changed so we grow and we mature and we get to know who Jesus really is we do this by reading his word through prayer and we get to become more and more intimate or close to Jesus we have this desire inside of us to be more and more like him we make choices because we want to make him pleased in 1st John 5 20 it says we know that the Son of God has come and he has given us understanding so that we can know the true God and now we are in God because we are in his son Jesus Christ he is the only true God and he is eternal life we seek after this truth so we reject darkness and sin and untruth in Romans 2 15 it says that we demonstrate that God's law is written within us within them for their own consciousness consciousness either accuse them or tell them that they are doing what is right so we can not do this on our own and we need help we need help of Jesus and the Holy Spirit with us to guide us then we are changed and we become more and more like Jesus it's not done it is done instantly but it is not done completely it's a gradual work it takes time Holy Spirit gradually reveals more and more of how we need to change. And he gives us a promise, though. He has the power to do this work. So we have hope and a promise that he will do it. In Isaiah 41, I do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. So we can accept this truth and accept Jesus' truth anytime, anywhere. But we have a choice to make. And that choice is either reject him and truth or accept him as the truth and who he is. So tonight, each of us have a decision to make. There's no in the middle. There's no, oh, it can wait or I don't have to think that way. I can just ignore it. We worry I'll have to do something with Jesus. We either accept him or we reject him. And if we accept him, all you have to do is believe in who he is, that he died on the cross, and admit that you have sins in your, or wrongdoings in your life. And then all you have to do is pray to him and ask for forgiveness of these sins. And he will be with you from then on. He'll be in your heart. We can pray together. If you want to come forward, we can have prayer together. This is called an altar. It's up front. If you want to come up here and pray, that's fine. Um, God would love to have you come and accept the gift of his love. And if you would want to come and pray, you can come on down. And I can pray with you if you would like. And if any of you, anytime, anywhere, want to accept him and the truth, you can do so. You have that freedom because of Jesus. Okay, band. I think we're going to try to do one more song. Okay. So we actually we didn't pick the last song we're going to play, so if anybody has any suggestions from the ones we've done earlier, if there was one you really, really like, we'd be open to playing them, or I can pick one. So I'm going to get my guitar ready, and between that time, I'm going to walk back over to the microphone, so if you pick the song that we sang earlier that you really, really like, uh, just feel free to shout it out, and we'll do that one. Not a 
think I'll play Glorious Day because I messed up a couple times. I don't want to redeem myself. <laughs> Let's do Glorious Day.